Christine, if you haven't guessed, our next interview is on plants, and plants do improve your health. Charlie Storner, um, you're a plant expert. Expound on that. Tell us a little bit about your credentials. Well, um, I'm, I'm considered a botanical stylist. Sure. And uh, the, there's a new way of approaching design in plants, and it's called evidence-based. And the, the premise is that we mix art and science together. So it's not just, I tell you it looks good, I tell you it looks good, and there's science to prove that it's good for you to have it there. Well, what so, is that science? It improves your health? How does it do that? Uh, they remove toxins. Uh, they provide humidity. They provide oxygen. And they just give you a sense of well-being. Uh, they they uh, increase productivity about 20% if you have plants in your workplace. Um, it's, uh, th those are the kind of benefits that's a that lot. they give us. That's, that's a one lot. Fifth. That's that is. 20, that's huge. That's huge. It and is. you say they clean the air, like they take the, some of the impurities, some of the toxins out just naturally? Yes. Uh, they're, they are bringing carbon dioxide in, and when they bring that in, they filter through their leaves the uh, toxins. It kind of stays in the plant, and then they dispose of it. Yeah, I notice some of the plants in my house look dustier sooner than, than other things because they're constantly filtering. Right. What about, do they provide any scent uh, uh, help? Not, not a lot of scent, but clean air, which is more important. Mm -hmm. uh, you, can have, you can have blooming plants that have an, a scent to them, uh, certainly. But the, the, the typical tropical plants don't leave, really leave a lot of uh, scent behind, and that's kind of good in a way because you don't want too many different scents in your home. So. Yeah. Well, Charlie, when you go into a building and you prov uh, provide recommendations on design, mm -hmm. how do you know that you're not overdoing it? Not overdoing it? Yes. Yeah, so, you know, I, well, I think I'm a for plant the person, <laughs> Jan. You can't overdo overdo it. it. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, the more you have health-wise, the better, because the more plants, the more oxygen. Um, as far as design goes, though, uh, I do have some, uh, some tricks for keeping things uh, in a, you know, using a design sense when I place plants. Triangles are good. Sure. Uh, threes instead of twos or ones. Charlie, uh, if there were two plants that you could recommend for a house or a building, what mm -hmm. would they be? Best benefit. This one I love. It's okay. very common. Everybody calls it the mother-in-law's tongue. Right. I call it the bedroom plant. All right. And this plant produces oxygen at night. So in your home, this is great to have in your bedroom because for it's giving sleeping. you more oxygen. Okay. And then for an office, if you want something on your desk, uh, a pothos is great or a philodendron. They're easy to take care of. Yeah. Uh, there are services that that do that take care of plants commercially for you. Yeah, well, thank you for joining us today, well, Charlie. You, this has been very informative, the aesthetics um, and the health benefits of yeah. plants. And for more, you can visit kplr11.com.